The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 62, NASDAQ off 11. S&P's uh, down to 4. Gold contract uh, down to $5, uh, no, down $8, trading at 12.0350. We have silver down 24 cents, $14.45. Uh, dollar just moves a little, and they want to keep hammering the uh, metals market. No two ways about that. Oil, oil up 22 cents, trading 69.74. Bottom line is that uh, it's having a tough time at this uh, 70 uh, number. And 70 is where they sold it down in May. They sold it down in July. We'll see where this uh, baby shakes out. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note up four ticks, 120.07. 30-year bond up nine, 144.28. You get king dollar up 244 ticks, trading at 94.770. The euro is at uh, 116.57 to 1 US dollar. The yen is at uh, 111 to 1 US dollar. And I think it's time, folks, that we all uh, go to Argentina. Uh, we're going to get our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, to come with us. We're going to go down there. We're going to have a big steak dinner because guess what? It looks like we can buy the whole farm. Oh, boy. Uh, the peso this morning is at 36 pesos to one u.s dollar and if and that's we that's the argentine peso that's the argentine peso and if we only go back to april yeah. it was a 20 to one u.s dollar they're pretty remarkable cut in half yeah. oh my god unreal kevin hanks what's going on good morning tom good morning tommy yeah argentina has some small issues Oof. going on down there don't you think i'll tell you you, you know it's really wild is that i actually had looked kevin um, about five or six years ago to really get my head wrapped around Argentina and see if I can get a little ranch down there, right? And yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad I, I, I don't know whether I'm glad I didn't or uh, I did at this particular point. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't know enough about it. But I can tell you, you know, uh, they, got, they got a lot of, you know, good agricultural products. They do. If you wanted to turn those Argentine pesos back into dollars, though, you would have been in trouble. Oh, big, big <laughs> so time. There's, there there's no <laughs> doubt. It's, it's like, yeah, you can buy things, but then what are you going to do when you sell them, right? Right. It's, it's quite a move, though, man. Yeah. It's, it's like, wow. Yeah, How? it's really starting to implode there, which, you know, if you're watching these markets and watching how they act, it should really surprise no one what's I, going it, on there. You know, if that, those stories that Argentina is living through right now, they don't end well. No. Right. And it's yeah. over and over again. That's yeah. the mind blow. Right. You know? Right. Amazing. So, hey. I mean, if, if that's really surprising you or, or anything like that, well, I mean, you're not really paying attention to history then. Yeah. In my for opinion. Sure. For sure. Hey, let's talk, let's talk uh, Amazon. Amazon just may be yeah. the next uh, trillion dollar company here, right? Amazon just touched $2,000 a share today. Tom. Yeah. For yeah. the first time ever. Now, I think it's backed off a little bit since uh, I walked over here into the studio, but it's still, you're right, that close to a trillion dollars in terms of uh, market cap, just a matter of when now, Tom. Yeah. I just heard this number. So listen to this number, folks. This is pretty sick. This is when you, we all wish that we owned Amazon, is that it has compounded. Well, no, I don't think it's compounded. Uh, it's done 10%, no, 30% per year for the last 10 years. Yeah, that's that's a number, man. That is like an extraordinary number. Just it's. Hey, we we know it's a pretty amazing story. Not bad, Tom, for a company that started off selling books. Oh, listen, man, I remember the day they started. I mean, you know, yeah. and you know, it was, if at that point, folks, which was really wild, is that you know you had Amazon, and then eBay was starting off at the same time, and and the reason that eBay at the beginning was so successful is that they sold those. They sold chiclets and uh, the the Thai babies. I mean, that's that's yeah. a crazy story, folks. Okay, <laughs> but that's how they became famous. What I think about Mark, we'll talk about personal experiences. I've been a Prime member since like 2009 or something. I felt you it, have. Yeah, wow. I was one of the. Early, and I said, man, you know what? I wasn't an Amazon shareholder in 2009. I should have been. Because, wow. you know, I started to realize, and that was just before they had any content. It was just the fact that they were guaranteeing you pay one fee a year 
We'll get you anything you order in two days for free. Right. It was a remarkable concept, and, and it proved to be. I mean, the Prime is, is one of their biggest drivers. That's... And if you look at that company and its modest beginnings, right, and, and there, there's pictures online that you can see of Jeff Bezos sitting in a very modest office at a modest desk, and you look what they're, they've turned into now. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good success story that anyone can really um, latch on to, for sure. Oh, yeah. there's, there's no doubt. Pretty yeah. amazing. Pretty amazing. So, um, every trading day here, folks, Fast Market, TD Ameritrade, I'm man, Mr. Kevin Hanks. If you want to understand strategies, options, futures, all of the above, great program. What are we going to be talking about today, Kevin? Oh, we're talking about everything that has to do with my life in general, Tom, which is Lululemon and Ultra Beauty products. Oh. <laughs> Don't you feel that I'm the perfect person to be talking about these two names? Uh, there's no doubt, man. There, there's no doubt. And if we take a look at Lululemon right now, so uh, that's Baby's Trading Out at 136. And you know what's amazing about you know Lululemon in general is that, you know, you go, you go back to 2009, it's a $2 stock. $2. Right. Yeah, 286. Okay, pretty guess crazy. what? It's 136 bucks. Yeah. You know, you had Even volatility for, for quite a while, and then ba basically it takes off like a rocket ship. Middle of 2017, it's it was up, just, yeah. It's up 137% in the last 12 months. Yeah. Wow. And look at, it, so, you know, we, we just pulled up the... It, it's huge. We just pulled up the, the growth, folks, and... For a company that is, they're, they're on pace to do $3 billion this year. And for a company like that, they're still growing over a three-year period, 15% in the U.S. Yeah. In Asia, they're growing by 32% yep. over right, three. because they haven't even, they, they barely, think about this, guys. They only have 400 stores. Wow. Right yeah. over 400. So they're, they're still considered a growth company. There's not even Europe mentioned on there. It goes U.S., Asia's almost, um, and, and um, Canada, I think. I mean, it's just, yeah. Right. And, and what has and, happened, you know, we were talking about this yesterday, actually, because they we, what has happened, folks, is that you don't have to be working out to wear in the Lululemon deal. Any the, clothes like yeah, that. The, right. the athleisure is across the board. Right. And now if we go into Ulta, uh, this is a, a little uh, rocket ship also. You know, it's, right. it's pulled back. But the yeah. bottom line is that when you take a look at um, the, the growth Jeez. aspect here, um, You've almost made more money in Alta than Amazon if you were in there in 2009, which is crazy in terms of the yeah. multiples. But yeah, you just went from 2.7 billion in 2014, 6.7 billion this year. And look at those earnings too. You're going from only three bucks a share earnings to almost 11. Wow, man, that's intense. Yeah, beauty is big business, guys. Yeah, that's for sure. Wow. That's... Yeah. So we're we're we're, we're going to have paper money trades on in Lululemon today and in Alta. When I think of Alta, I think of that huge Alta on the Vegas Strip right there. And, man, you got to be selling some beauty products to have, you know, a, a beauty store the size of part of Caesar's Palace over there. Look at the e-commerce is growing by 55% over a three-year period. Yeah. And, 55. And they're over at half a billion dollars on that number. Pretty, yeah. That is, that is a monster, man. Pretty fascinating company. Think about it. Order in your makeup or any beauty products via point and click. A point and click, and they get a spread that's amazing. Right. Folks, 45 minutes right here, man, Mr. Kevin Hinks. He's going to get you into these strategies, get you into these options, get you into these futures. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great Labor Day, man. We look forward to speaking to you next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for having you me too. You Thanks, too. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and and Clearwater Markets, Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now down 64. Nasdaq's off six. S&P's uh, down uh, three and a half. Uh, Can I jump over to this oh, yeah. story? Sorry, oh, yeah. I literally just pulled it up. But these are staggering numbers, man, and I'm uh, even paying attention. So Argentina's central bank raised its benchmark interest rate to 60% from 45% on Thursday after the peso plummeted to a new record low. The move comes one day after their president announced he had requested the IMF fund to speed up disbursements from a $50 billion credit line. I mean, that's just, as, as Kevin was saying, you know, if you're not paying attention with somewhere where they're going from 45 to 60 percent the end might not be today to say the least yeah right? no there, there's no doubt and if you the thing that is so intriguing and that probably is the wrong word but when when you look at the peso over let's just I'm, I'm gonna put this just at five years right and when you see this it's hard to comprehend so five years ago it was five pesos 5.7 pesos to one US dollar and it's 35 right now. Yeah. That's seven times, right? Right. Seven times. Seven times. As in okay. your year. So that's, that's only five years ago. So if we go to 10 years ago. Three. Three. So it's, so it's the last five years. Hey, even, even that, that's a multiple of 12 when you go back there, as opposed to seven. So it, it, it wasn't that, oh, just, that, you're right, yeah. that it's, it's. That's, that's pretty amazing, man. Yeah. It's, and what that's about, folks, this is the, uh, the thing that blows my mind when I see something like that. It, it's hard to comprehend why gold hasn't moved more, why metals haven't moved more. You know, evidently people down there are not buying um, protection because that's when you have countries that are just printing money. And that's what that's all about, folks, okay? When, you know, Argentina prints their way into business and out of business on a continual basis. Inflation. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. that's where, you know, it's... Um, it's just paper. Right. It's, it's why people... You know, like metals. I mean, you know, if if you're in a country that keeps doing that, well, bottom line is that in order to preserve wealth, that's a, that's a that's a way to do it. Yeah. So you devalue every dollar when you print extra ones because they all you know have the same pool of value. So yeah, exactly. You're gonna buy you're gonna buy this lot of dirt. Well, guess what? It, ke it has to keep going up because there's right. only so much dirt. There's only like a million dollars in circulation. There's yeah. much more. You know. Right. 
and then they just say we're just going to add a million dollars and just kind of like print the paper and throw it around. Throw it around. Well, price is going to go up, and those every dollar is going to be worth a little less because now everybody has more dollars, yep. so you can charge more dollars for the going same deal. Going after the same deal. Exactly. Right. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and uh, you talk about uh, spending money. We're spending money out here, folks. If you go Signet Jewelers out here today, we in these high-end places have been basically hitting it uh, out of the park. It's a good, good couple of days to be in the jewelry business, isn't it? Yeah. So Signet is ahead. up uh, fourteen dollars. Uh, that's twenty percent. Big time. And it's almost even more, right? What was it? Fifty-five. Yeah, I mean, it's big numbers, man. And look at this has been in a downtrend. Man, yeah. Let's see. Pretty intense. It's been in a downtrend since uh, 2015, yeah. October 2015. Now it, it came off that downtrend. You know, bottom line, they, they, this is a this is really a classic too. Actually, you know, you came back to the lows of uh, 2011. You know, we hit that with uh, what 42 million versus 34 and 39. You come off with strength that was uh in june that's probably the last time they come up with their numbers uh let's see what they have to say yeah so signet jewelers uh they own so many different stores too wow so they could, yeah they go ahead yeah there's a lot of numbers there but there's yeah. the 1.7 percent rise in total same store sales and they were looking for a 4.2 percent drop wow huge yeah marks the highest compatible uh Comparable, yeah. Sales growth in more than two years. There's all the K, Zales, Jared. <laughs> they own them all, right? That's, they own all the malls. Just those three are yeah. alone. Right. Big number. Definitely. And uh, so Tiffany was yesterday, right? Yes, I think? yep. What How are they doing today? Tiffany, 125. Yeah, that's, wow, so they that's interesting. Back. That's right. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. And they come out with good numbers. Bottom line so is maybe that it was two days ago, right? Yeah. Sold them off. Yeah. Um, electronic Arts, that baby's getting hit. Are they? It's the Fortnite. Oh, EA on second. Uh, they, they, what they did is that they um, postponed um, a big, well, game evidently. And look at that though, it wants to go after okay. that high volume low 114. That would be like the Apple postponing an iPhone launch, yeah. right? I mean, that's their huge... Delays popular video game. Okay. Battlefield video game, yeah. They're probably, p oh, look at that. Highlighting the challenges of game makers to keep up with Fortnite. Yeah, highlighting the challenges for established game makers to keep up, as in they're, they're getting passed by the mobile shooting game blockbuster that's taken the industry by storm. Wow. I play it myself. Uh, so Battlefield was delayed by four weeks to November 20th, and they cut their forecast for the fiscal year ending March. And then, of course, the shares are down on that. Yeah, we're updating our fiscal year guidance to reflect the updated launch date for Battlefield V, which I'm completely unfamiliar with, um, the ongoing impact. So what happens is on these two, I don't think that I'd be able to play. So I just play Fortnite on my phone or on your yeah. iPad or something. And so it's interesting where I, I don't think that that's a game that even becomes available. And if it does, well, geez, it shows how behind they are. And I don't even know it's going to be available if it is. Right. But I don't think it is. I think that's where you just play... But what they've done with Fortnite so well, and a lot of companies, you can play with your friends. Like, I play on my phone. If my friends are on PlayStation, they pulled up on PlayStation, and we're chatting as so we're playing. You can play it on anything. Yeah, and so wow. you can play cross-platform. That's what... And EA, you, 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 can you play those games on your phone? That's what I was just saying. Okay. I don't, I don't right. think so. Okay, right. So wh whether yeah, I can or that. not, right. they're, they're it, failing the you, game you, because it, you, I don't think you can. But, but uh, the, yeah, you should know. I should I know, right? I That's what it. I'm saying. So yeah. even if I can, it doesn't matter because I'm right. so unaware of it. Right. Pretty amazing. Yeah, but I don't think you can. I think that's where, you know, they're making games like Madden Football and, and so forth. Or not, you know, but that's more like PlayStation, Xbox type. If we go over to Amazon, folks. So Amazon. Uh -oh. New highs. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Amazon's an ABC structure up. You got a 2041 price projection. You're up 10 bucks right now. I, I suspect we're going we're gonna to probably get this before meaning the trillion dollars. Uh, it's climbing up. When I, start, yeah. when I first did the update, it was $976 billion. Now it's $979 billion. So there's almost 500 million shares. So every $2 is a billion.
Okay. Right? So we need about 40 bucks. Well, there you go. It's, uh, so call it 2050, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay, so it's going to have to do $9 more than its ABC price projection, which is pretty easy to do. And, it was uh, up $63. That's it. I mean, yeah, it's jumping around $10 a pop. It was just a 201 when we talked to Kevin. Now it's at uh, 208, the high just under 210. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Bezos, right? He's going to have his 80 million shares. So every 10, remember, every $10, he makes 800 million. Wow. Oh, that's right. Hey, we got to go to natural gas. How do we do that? Look How that. did we do that? Ah, okay. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, man. So uh, we take a look at the uh, natural, natural gas market, folks. And if you haven't test driven yet, the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, hit that banner. We're looking for a volatility trade out here, folks, when these numbers come out. Perfect. So we're trading at 286 right now. We'll take a look. We're going to get the numbers at 1030 when we come back. We'll check out some of those bullish and bearish bets. Okay. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, EIA says that U.S. natural gas stockpiles rose 70 BCF. Median the estimate, 62. Okay. And uh, market jumping around a bit. So a little bit more than they thought. More supply, lower prices, right? So you get the price trading about two to two and a half pennies lower. 
We looked at the possible trade setups. Uh, if you were looking at noon, you had 285 as a possible price point. So coming in at almost 287, you would have been having about two pennies, which would be $20 in those contracts of intrinsic value in there. Right. It just would have been a kind of a bullish trade. You still could have made it. And this kind of emphasizes that point, as in, you know, if you're just looking for pure volatility in either direction, well, you got a, a two and a half, three penny move, but your max loss would have been 285, right? Because you're in the head. So that's why right. it's a little bit of a bullish trade. You could always could have taken the bearish trade which uh, was lining up at like only $7, right? And then that starts to get interesting if you actually do get some negative because that's an out of the money spread. Right. And what we look for, folks, is the closest, the, the spread is that you want the closest to what the actual uh, either oil or gas is trading at yes. at that particular point so that you're, it's truly a volatility trade that you, yeah. you know. Now to put it, you know, to, to, so right now we actually are trading at 285 right on the dot. So it'd be interesting if you said, you know what, I, I don't think it's going to stay here. You can make the volatility trade right now almost again. And these are noons we're looking at right yeah. here. And so you're making it for about $21, which you need about 2.1 pennies away from 285. And what's nice when it lines up like that is that you can see they're pretty similarly bid offer, as in no intrinsic value on either side. Yeah. And you're just paying about one penny of premium on each side or about $10. Uh, and the, the the contract itself is a quite a bit of quite a move it, this yeah, morning in general. Yeah. I mean, we've we went from about 289 um, and we spiked to 284, so that's five pennies right there. Yeah. And as we see with these numbers, sometimes it takes some time to sort out where this market wants to go coming on coming off of yeah. a, an inventory number. Pretty wild. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go over and take a look at the, they they man they just like keep slamming this gold market man. So. Out here this morning. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at the, you know, it came right it came back, okay, but yeah. the bottom line is that you can look at that slam. There. You know, we, we were okay. we were up at at uh, ten minutes and nine folks this morning. We were at uh, twelve twelve. Um at uh nine fifty. At nine fifty we're at twelve oh two. Now it's made it back, you know, up to twelve oh six. What I wanna see again, which it did yesterday, uh, bottom line is that um, the B point on this is 1208.40. So my take is that we're still in ABC structure on the way up. Uh, you know, you're going to get a rejection of price. You get a complex ABC up. The thing that's amazing is that, and this is where I, I would say that it, it is dangerous for the metals market, is that the um, DXUA, is that the dollar didn't even move that much. Yes. And they smoked it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you're talking about um, where it, 94.730, and that's not even at the highs of yesterday, and yet they, they smoked it. Yes, so, I agree. Going to be wild watching this whole uh, thing shake out, no doubt. Uh, notes and bonds, uh, you know, they got to a lower low yesterday, they rejected it. They have uh, life once again, you know, and we'll see uh, how this shakes out. Cause, uh, so if we go over to that note market first, what you're going to see is that we got into a lower low yesterday, which it needed, by the way, because the volume was so extraordinary on Tuesday. Tuesday we did 3.1 million contracts. Now, you're going against the strength, but the strength only had 2.3. Okay. So what we did do yesterday is that you did 2.3, you got below it, you closed above the low, and you did the same amount of volume coming into the strength. So now... That's that saved it for this particular point. We'll, so we'll see how this shakes out. But um, the 30 year, even more so, is given the clue that it's going to make the run once again. And it did the same type of setup. The 30 year is just much closer to the top of the you know, consolidation we're in, which is 145.28. We're a point and f uh, four ticks away from it. So it's going to be pretty wild watching this thing uh, shake out the next couple of days. What we will get this afternoon, um, yeah, and Amazon's running. Let's see how much it's running since we just, uh, Amazon wants that trillion dollars. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. It's running all right. Look at this. 2015 on the dot. We just, we just pulled it up. Thanks, Maria. We pulled it up, and uh, it was up $10. Now it's up $15.60. Uh, yeah. two, two, so 2000 41, folks, is the ABC structure on the way up. Now, you got to remember something. On ABC structures, that's only a one-to-one. -one. You know, I mean, A to B equals C to D. You know, you can do a one-to-1.382 -one in a heartbeat. And if you do that, guess what? Trillion-dollar market cap is going to be there. Pretty remarkable, the, the month of August that they've had in terms of 1739 on July 31st. I know. Um, 
Three hundred dollars, yeah. Three hundred dollars. How about going back four months? Yeah, no, that's not thirteen hundred. Right. Seven hundred dollar move. Yeah. And then if we just go back in here for a second, <laughs> look at this thing. This is this is so cool. We just watched this crawl up. We're at nine hundred eighty-three billion now. Yep. When I did the, the right. we're at nine seventy-nine. Yeah. And change. And then we were at 975 when I did the update. Yeah. Hey, $35 is not much for a $2,000 stock, so we're, we're right on the cusp. All right. And, yeah, wow. That is intense, no doubt. So let's go, let's go, yeah, this is, let's go inside the NDX because as that's moving, so the move is out here. You get Facebook up 2% or 360. Micron's up 1.5%. Biogen's up 1.3. Netflix is up one2 um, oh, Dollar Tree. I'm not buying enough balloons at yeah, Dollar Tree. Yeah, you said that. I guess not, man. <laughs> Let's go look at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. their margins on that dollar, aren't, aren't, oh, um, they, on the balloons, aren't they, what they need to be. They're, no, they're not. Okay, so let's look see. Look at those. Earnings season has not been kind, man. Nope. Every time. Wow. Yeah. Look, look at this, folks, That's okay? It, yeah. This is uh, all yep. downtown. We go back six months ago. It's $104. Gaps down to 86 Does a counter trend move to 101 Gaps down to 81. Oh, this is this is like a classic chart. Let me pull this back. We can just see this. Look at that. Wow. Talk if you about talk, a roller coaster, man. And you talk about support and resistance, right? Just you know, it's very unusual when you can see something that that's clean. Sure. Meaning you, you you break down, you come back up with light volume, you break down, you come back up with light volume, you break down. I mean, uh, this is where it's like really you're trading 96. Only a week and a half ago, you're at 84. It's going after. I believe that's going to be. A, yeah, it's a high volume low. It's going. Well, this is intense, man. Yeah, this is. What price is that? Well, it's already at it. It hit 82, 86. It's going after this uh, 8101. Can you go into the news for them and see what? Yeah. Uh, what seems to be the the major malfunction that they got going on? Uh, let's see. Maybe the top one. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Second quarter, the estimate uh, had been five, uh, revenue estimate 5.5 billion, they did 5.53. Uh, earnings per share, the estimate was $1.16, they did $1.15. It's not even that bad. But, no, no. You know, yeah. Public companies, though, folks, they, they want to see growth, man. Um, that's that's how this shakes out. Maybe that there you go. Yearly EPS 489 to 509. The estimate was 550. Oh yeah, big number. That's the beginning of trouble. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Jack Gleason from Major League Trading, coming up next to be growling and prowling with us. Dow Industrials right now are trading down uh, 62. Nasdaq is up two. S and P's down two and a half. Come right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials are down a third, down 68. Nasdaq is up two. S&Ps are down uh, eight and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Leeson, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. Uh, Jack's got a great website, folks. Major League Trading. How's that? Baseball season, the October's coming. October's coming. Hey, winter's coming, man. The oh. end of the summer. It's trading time. I love it. Winter's coming. Not for me, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, going Costa Costa, Rica. you're going to Costa Rica, man. Holy cow. We're gonna... Endless summer. Endless summer. Endless summer. You better get that surfboard out, man. Well, you're going you're gonna to have a blast surfing say, down and there. You're talking to two guys that moved from Boston to Florida, so we, yeah. we feel what you're going for, man. Yeah. We're, we're, we're only going to keep going south, too. Exactly. Don't worry. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Totally. Hey, so uh, we have your charts up. That the first one we'd like to talk about is the NASDAQ. So uh, this NASDAQ has been on a tear, no doubt. We got Amazon's going to be a trillion dollar company before the end of today, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's it? Is it 2250 or something? I think it's just 2050, 2050. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's 2050. My goodness. Right. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that thing, I was just saying uh, to my members, I was like, I remember when that thing was three, four hundred bucks. And it really wasn't that long ago. It wasn't, Jack. We were just looking like, at the charts. It's pretty oh, remarkable. Yeah. It's over the top. I mean, over the top. And, and you can. I don't see anything stopping it. I so, mean, so we just looked at it. this month. It's going up three hundred dollars practically, and then you go back to what was it? April. It was at like thirteen hundred. Let right. alone how quickly. I mean, yeah. it's remarkable. Seven hundred bucks in five months. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Nasdaq has been so volatile. I mean, I usually use a twenty tick stop. I've have. I'd have to. I've had to widen it out quite a bit just yeah. because. Uh, I mean, the moves come in on the back of Amazon and everything else. It's been insane. But yeah. So got that Nasdaq chart up. Got a lot of lines on my screen, but this is basically all the fib sequences I've been watching. Okay. And I know everybody's wanting to know where is the Nasdaq going next. So what I, I I came in here we talked about a couple of upside targets last week um, that that have been hit. Great move from me being out last Thursday, and I you know I really kind of hammered home that I thought this was the beginning of a bigger bull run. Yeah. Uh, last Thursday's video, but really where my upside targets are right now for the Nasdaq, I have a larger profit target which comes from the consolidation slash pullback that we had at the end of july okay that target is going to be 77.38 and that's that top green line that goes all the way across the screen on that chart so that's at 77.39 i don't really anticipate us even stalling until we get there i have one more shorter time frame profit target that was from the consolidation of the week of august 20th and a little bit before and that that's a negative 61 target. That's 77.14.75. So 77.14.75 and 
3875. Those are going to be your two levels that uh, you'll probably see some sellers just take profit. Doesn't mean they're, they're at this point. You know, anytime we have new all-time highs, there's no resistance, right? Right. Uh, Things just keep going. So all we have is profit targets, which are measures based on previous pullbacks and consolidation phases. And so right now, I folks, we're at 76, uh, 72. So we're talking still some action. And as Jack just said, it gets pretty intense, folks, when there's nothing on the left-hand side of the chart, meaning there's no resistance. Who's going like, to sell their Amazon right now? No, oh, nobody, yeah, right? You, yeah. not, not till a trillion, if not two trillion. So I saw articles yesterday talking about two trillion dollars. Who's going to be the first two trillion and how Amazon has the leg up? So Amazing, crazy. yeah. Amazing is right. Gosh. Okay, so uh, next chart uh, out here. What do we? We got oil and crude. Where do you want to go to, Jack? Uh, we'll go to. We'll, uh, we have. Uh, let's crude see. The gold. Oh, Excuse gold. me. Yes. <laughs> oil and crude. Yeah. I know. Both right. Of those charts. We'll go over both of those charts. Um, so gold. So I do Perfect. think I was actually looking to participate on the 1201.6 support zone here in gold. Now we did get that level front run. I believe it was like five or six ticks we came um, down into that when if I start seeing a reaction five or six ticks away from a support level I'm anticipating um, I'll begin to look to try to just get long more aggressively that's what I saw here this morning yeah I think that I mean gold what was it uh Thursday was it last Thursday or no what was the day it was it was last Friday last Friday was, it broke the B point had the volume had the price spread had, every, had everything right oh yeah it was I think it was the biggest move to the top side in seven months right um, which anytime you see the biggest move in any direction in seven months, that's a market you want to watch. If you haven't been interested in gold, get interested. I do think that we're going to see a continuation up. That was on the back of those Jerome Powell comments talking about potentially maybe not raising those interests. So you have the whole fundamental um, opinion there that can drive this price higher. What I'm looking for gold to do, we'll see if it happens by the time I'm on the show next week, is move up towards a 1232 half target yeah. over the next week. We really need to get above that 1214 level. It'll be 1214, 1219 half. And then once we get through those highs and be looking for, you know, the really the, this would be the continuation. We had the reversal. Right. This is the pullback. This would be the first continuation after the reversal. So it's important that bulls hold here. If they don't, my next downside support is going to be 1195.6. So you can mark that up too. So 1195.6. If we do trade to the downside, if we get to the upside, I'm looking for a continuation back up to the top side of the range. It'll be our first pullback, really, that's held and made a swing high in some time. So that'll be 1234, 1232 area that I'm looking for a completion of that target. Nice. Now oil. Let's say let's start oil out here. Okay, oil, um, a couple of things. Right now, we are right at what I would consider to be a major resistance level. This level we're currently trading in oil is the full 50% retracement from the highs of the year. That level is 69.88. We're trading 69.85s right now. The high of July 3rd, which is the high of 2018 right now, to that low, which we had right before rollover on the 16th of August, that halfway back is also the previous consolidation area around late July, end of the month. 69.88, major resistance right here. If we get one just check above, I would look at the uh, pretty much my sell zone. That box also begins at 70.80. Yeah. But if we put this level here, we can tr continue all the way back to the bottom of the range towards the 66 level. So I'm looking for potential signs of a reversal at these highs. If we could start trading back below 69, um, I'll be looking to participate on the short side of the market there. Otherwise, if we get through this 69.88 level, I'm gonna be looking for another sell zone up at that uh, 70, 80, 70, 80. Yeah, 70, the, you know, 80. when we look back, uh, Jack, at May and July, Whoever those sellers are, those are two, they, they nailed that uh, oil contract uh, two separate days. And they, days, yeah. you know, and that's right, we're right at it. So you can see those bulls and bears are going to fight it out right, right where we are. It's pretty wild. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, this is one of those things where it's like bulls, they got to continue it straight up. If it starts looking weak, um, you know, tomorrow we'll have the rig report, which might affect it. We already had the NAT gas report here today. Didn't really do much with oil. Um, but something to pay attention to. I did read that these are the highest prices for Labor Day weekend in um, oh. four years. Four years. See that, right? We're at seventy dollar oil. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 No. No doubt. Yeah. So hey, listen. When when are you going down to Costa Rica? 
Um, November 1st, I actually just submitted my uh, deposit for my short term lease, uh, you know, okay. home on the beach. We'll get, so, in. We'll, 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 get, we'll get our tickets, man. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do it, guys. Have Live a good one. from Costa Rica. We totally. Really can't wait. Jack, you have a great weekend, safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to you next uh, Thursday, man. Take care, guys. Take Thanks, care. Jack. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Direction's Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down to 67. Nasdaq's up six. S&Ps are uh, off uh, eight, off three, rather. Can we check back in on oh, yeah. uh, our natural gas as we end the hour just for a quick peek? So 286. You know, we spiked down initially right on that news to 284.24. Back up to 286. If you were taking that noon, you would add 285 as your price point. You'd still have an hour of exposure. See what happens. But not, nothing too dramatic, even as Jack was saying. Nothing too dramatic in the oil market as we're sitting 69.86 still. Um, the only thing dramatic that's what I was going to say. Amazon's the news out here today, folks. Oh, there! look at this. Okay. Oh, my God. Get Jack back on the line. We're going to head you're away. Up, you're up 26 bucks, folks. You're at 2,024. Now we're 12.5 billion. Come on, let's jump change. Let's we're, go. We're at 987 billion. So, bottom line, this is going to happen today. This is uh, 
Yeah, that can happen today. We need yeah. another 26 bucks, and it right? Is. It's, it's, it's exactly. I was going to say it's not simple math, right? Yeah. But seriously, about 500 million shares. So every two bucks is a billion. Yeah. You got a... Uh, is that, is that right? Yeah, every two bucks is a billion. It made 12 and a half billion. We made 12 and a half, so 25 right on the bop. There we go. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be a tw it's good. around 2050, yeah. you know, give or take a dollar or two, because and it's the, really 487, the, so it might be just above two, 2050. It might be 2052. You've got to love it. Got to love it. That's, Come on, man. Bezos, Bezos, 80 oh million shares. What's God. he made? He's made like $2 billion just since the market opened today. It's hard to comprehend. $2 billion since the market opened today. That is something it else. Is. There's no doubt about it. Huge. Huge, Huge numbers. <laughs> and, you know, you can, we, you can expect, folks, is that, uh, you know, 1 o'clock this afternoon, you're going to basically see this uh, market uh, basically get slower. Uh, but doesn't mean that the price will get slower. It just means that the volume will get slower. Yes. No, it's Thursday. We're coming into that long weekend. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. We've got Fast Market coming up next. And we get our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.